Hi, Robert Curry again, continuing our series on electrical components. Uh, the last video we looked at a blower motor uh, for a uh, gas furnace. That was a 115 volt motor. Today we're looking at a condenser motor. And what I'd like to talk with you about is to look at the difference in the motor uh, that we had versus the, the motor that we're looking at now. The other motor had vent holes in the top and around the sides to allow air to come in, uh, cool the motor off. This is a condenser motor. Uh, we'll notice this motor is sealed up. It's sealed due to rain and other moisture that can get in the motor. We won't allow drain holes in these motors, but we want to ensure that while the system does have a drain hole, uh, we want to make sure that these, these drain holes are open on a particular motor. These are non-oilable mo motors, which means there's no oiling to it. Uh, we have again our wiring, which is our power wiring and wiring to our capacitor. But again, this is a reversible motor. We simply switch the leads to change the direction of the motor, change the direction of the shaft of the motor. Uh, this particular motor right here is a one third to one six horsepower, uh, 1075 RPM motor. On a condenser motor, it's very important to pay attention to the number of RPMs that are listed on the motor. There are typically 825 and 1075 motors. There's also a difference on condenser motors on frame size. This is what we call a 48 wide frame. It's just simply the size of the, the outside of the motor. There are also systems out there today that will use a 42 wide frame, which is a much smaller diameter motor than this one. Uh, and if you try and put that on in place of a 48 wide frame, it either won't line up, the holes won't line up, or they won't match and you won't be able to do it. So give us a call if you have any further questions about blower motors. 409-883-9616.